And the constitution says that when you lose elections, you have to hand over. Yeah. And so, so whether they like it or not, when the people decide that enough is enough, they will have to painfully hand over because they don't want to hand over and they will hand over because the constitution says they will hand over. Solomon Bua, he should know this constituency belongs to the NDC. The first member of parliament was Honorable Labi. The second member of parliament was Labi, uh, 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 Beric. It came to do all these people were NDC. They represented the people of this area in parliament in the order ticket of the NDC. They only slipped. We slipped and lost the seat to the MPP for the first time, and that will be the last time. Bua should give us the chance. He, we will not allow Bua to win this seat, inshallah. I am therefore praying to the people of Bukurugu. We can see the signal, but we will want to continue to pray that we should not we should not succumb to their movements that we'll be making at the last minute. Let's make sure that when we go back to the, our various homes, our various communities, we talk to the people and let them know what is going on in the country. The difficulty is reaching every corner of the country. How can you take 200 cities and vote for a particular party and the party will make sure that you are visited with hardship. We are visited with injustice. You are visited with corruption. Enough is enough. I will stop here and hand over the mic. Long live NDC, long live the people of Bukulbu. Thank you very much.